Well, well. Look what Spirit Halloween reeled in again today. I uh, just got back from the Spirit store and I thought, why not make a video? If you can tell by the name right there, I just went to the Spirit store and picked up a Jacko Lunger from Spirit Halloween 2014. And I thought, why not make an unboxing video? I've never done one of these, but this is pretty much how it is. Um, his original price was $200, but that's back in 2014, and I believe that the price that he was last year, or even the year before that, was $119. But he... I took him out of... I didn't take him out of the box to turn him on or anything. I don't know if he works 100% or not. But I do know that he does have a broken gear in his uh, lurching mechanism, so he won't lurch for Like, his arms will lurch, but he won't lurch forward, so I'm going to fix that. But it's only $59. And I'm pretty sure it comes with everything. It might not, but anyway, it does not lunge forward. And it's not because it's fried out, it's just broken. So let's go ahead and look at what he looks like. Okay, so here I am inside of the box, and everything's just kind of sprawled out in the box. They don't even try to re bother packing these things properly. But anyway, here I am in the box. Um, here is. Kind of in the way. Here is his mechanism right here. So this is the lurching mechanism, and from what I can tell, this is a very steady pull. Let's just set that right there. But it does have a broken gear, unfortunately. Sounds like it broke in half or something. Here's a clip. It's got volume control, the battery, and all that, and it's made by Techie Toys. So let's go ahead and pull him out. I don't know what the arm lurching mechanism is here. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the parts, and I'll show you guys after I'm done. All right, so here is the Mr. Jack out of his box. Um, I believe he does come with an adapter. That's nice, because I don't have a whole smorgasbord of adapters. Um, this, I don't know why they put that in there. Here's the back foot, which is a very big foot. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. So, here's this. Uh, and then we have the two feet, and it looks like it's missing a foot. Uh, I do have replace. I do have other feet, so I'll just go inside and get one from there. I have plenty of other animals that have these same feet. But it looks like he comes with pretty much everything. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them all good and set them up and everything. And I'll cut. I'll if there's any design notes I I have, I'll get I'll get back to you guys on. Okay, so I'm inside the Jacko Lunger's main module right here. It looks pretty nicely laid out. I see micro components on there, so it's kind of scaring me. But nonetheless, um, I took him. I took the bottom cover off because he was making a funny noise. This was rattling inside there. My suspicion was correct. He is going to need another half gear so he'll lunge. But I have one that I can steal from another animatronic. Um, so, anyways, I'll go ahead and get that fixed. I won't fix that today, but I will get it fixed tomorrow, or maybe tonight, and I'll make a video of that. So, here's the inside, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and set him up. And I also have another foot. I found another foot from one of my older rising from the greens. And this is not a paid advertisement from Pepsi. This is, I don't know what that's doing, so, anyways. Okay, so here I have him all set up, um, or as set up as he's going to get. Um, he actually has a big problem. The snap lock feet back here is actually broken. Uh, so this foot is just on here. Uh, that's a big problem because this is a very heavy thing and he will fall forward, no problem. So they put this on here, which I'm, I'm really thankful they did. Otherwise, I would have to use this to weigh his back foot down. I feel like Joe Bean videos right now because he always has to like rectify his animatronics or make them work better. Um, the entire mechanism up in the hood, not up in the hood, but that's this hood, his hood, is right there. It uses the same spring lock mechanism, probably the reason why they break. Um, so, yeah, here he is. I'm going to go ahead and turn him on without the camera on, and I'll go ahead and try him out and see what's up. And I'll get back to you guys, so, yeah. Alright guys, so I just plugged him in to test him out, and he comes with, he comes with everything, and the problem I showed you guys is still there. Um, but he is actually a little bit more broken than I thought he was. So his head, so the way his, his head works is these arms go back 
and they recess back into his shoulders. And then his body goes backwards. And then when he lunges forward, his body lunges forward and then these lunge forward. But his relay switch in the head is broken or something, or there's a wire or something, or it's just burned out. So what's going on now is his arms, um, they, they go, and let me plug them in and let me show you guys what I mean, because it's kind of hard to describe. See? See, his arms are gonna keep going. And there's not as powerful as I thought it was, thought he was. That could actually burn the motor out when they're running constantly like that, so.